Step one to teleporting like this is to film yourself teleporting. Let me, let me show you what and how you should film it. So let's jump in here into CapCut. We're gonna import the footage. I'm giving you all of this footage for free. See, it says free, you're getting footage. All of the elements I use in this video, including both video and sound effects are included in the uh, link in the description below. So you can download those right now so you can follow along. Click import and first we go to the footage and let me show you what the footage is. I made it easy because I have filmed the four elements that you need, but they're not trimmed yet. So I'm gonna take all of them and bring them into the timeline and going to hit Shift Z so you can see them all filling up the screen. And what you need is to film yourself jumping. Now you can do this any way you want. This is how I do it, but you know, snap your fingers, jump, do a dance, whatever you think is gonna be the magic thing that makes you teleport. In this case, I jump up, bam! And then you need the back plate for where you're going to land. So just let the camera roll, make sure it's on a tripod when you do this, and just film, oh, I'm gonna be landing there, then I need to appear in that scene. So how do I do that? For me, I just kind of fall into the seat. Like I jumped and I fell down into the seat, right? But again, do it any way you want. So there's the back plate, little footage of nothing going on. And then bam, there's me jumping into position. So step one is to gotta, you gotta film all this stuff. Step two, we need to trim it up. So it looks good. Now here, I'm gonna say something, blah, blah, blah. It was in my last video about audio or one of my last videos. And then I jump up. And this is where you wanna get really frame accurate and film yourself precisely so it looks real. So I'm going up and then I come down and then it, it doesn't look real, I'm just landing on the dock. So I want to end on a frame where I am still going up. I'm up, 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 up before I go down. So probably that frame right there before I start to go down so it looks real. And I've got the track magnet on. So if I trim this, it's gonna suck everything over. I just don't need any of this footage from here over to do that. I type the letter, what's the letter? You guys gotta start using the keystrokes, W. So it adds an edit, trims it, and with the track magnet on, everything sucks over, bam. And then we're gonna land here. Now you you don't have to have an empty back plate, but it really sells it. If you look at how they do it in X-Men, when what's her head, poof, you know, bamps out of there, um, it, it shows her gone. So you wanna see yourself gone here because it sells the effect. So like, bam, I jump up. Bam, now I'm gone. And you just need that for, you know, just a half a second or something. So I'm just gonna guess and choose maybe this much footage. And yeah, right around there is good. And again, I'll type the letter W. And then for this shot, same thing. Again, you wanna be in a tripod and you also probably want to lock the focus. You can do that on your iPhone or on any camera or Android, you can lock focus. And what I would do is focus on yourself and leave it focused so that when you exit the frame, it's focused on the same exact thing. So the focus doesn't jump. It makes it look more accurate. It sells it better. In this case, I didn't, but it, it kind of worked out good anyway. So I'm just going to choose, I don't know about that much of that one. And to get rid of this, type letter W. And then here, it looks like, obviously, I just turned the camera on and I'm falling back, but I want it to land where I'm actually falling into place. And so where I'm moving, falling into place, bam, right there is probably good. And to trim this, I'd add an edit right here and delete this and have everything slide over. What's the keystroke? Q. Remember, Q and W, they're right next to each other. So bam, so even before we do anything, um, we already have something that kind of looks like uh, you're evaporating out of, the, out of the frame. We're gonna make it way better in a second. So we'll just watch this. The <laughs> so that looks pretty good even without any sound effects or special effects, which we're gonna add in a second, but let's trim it up a little more. We want this to be maybe a little shorter. So I'm just gonna make these about half as long because the blank plate is too long there. So I'm gonna hit the letter W, bang, to trim that up. And again, I'm just making it rough. It doesn't have to be perfect. And highlight that, I hit W, and now it looks like this. And that looks, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to add some sound effects that really help sell it. So let's go ahead and click on all right here, and then double click on free, double click on sound effects, and we have two sound effects. This one goes like this, and this one's Bam, like I appeared. So we're gonna have me whoosh, disappear and then poof, bamf into the scene. So let's do this thing first, this quick whoosh. And we want the whooshy part to end right about there. So somewhere around there. And again, this is an art, not a science. You can do it the way you like. We're gonna use the same sound effect when I reappear in the scene right here. So I'm going to hold down the Option key on a Mac, the Alt key on a PC, and I'm gonna click and drag this down here. And kind of have it end at the same place right around there. And then when I land, I wanna pop into frame. So I'm gonna add this hard hit effect right here. 
And I'm gonna position it right there where I start to appear and drag this right over here, line it up. And now we have this. <laughs> and I didn't quite like that, so I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit. With these things lined up, how I would like them better, it sounds like this. <laughs> and that kind of works, works pretty great, I think. And before we add the special effects that really help sell this thing, and make it look like it's straight out of a movie. You should know that I teach you how to use all this stuff that CapCut does in my course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut. So if you wanna skip like a year of trying to teach yourself this stuff on your own, just take my course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut, linked right here or in the description below. And besides teaching you to edit, and I'm pretty good at it because I did it for like 20 years in Hollywood, I also teach you what you need to do to get more views and more subscribers on YouTube. As of right now, I've got over 100,000 followers on this channel, 63,000 followers on a channel I just started posting again, and I've, I've learned a lot in my journey, and I share what you need to do. Just like 10 steps. Do this with every video. You get more views and subs every time. Guaranteed. If you don't, any reason, within 30 days, give your money back. So check out the link below and uh, take my course. It will change your life. Step number four, add some uh, special effects. So to do that, we're just going to jump over here into effects and type in teleportation. And let's see what comes up. We've got this one called Butterfly Dream. This one's, I think, my favorite. We're gonna do this one first, but I'll show you a couple other options. And you can do anything you want here. There are probably 30 effects in CapCut that'll work for teleportation. This one just kind of works the best for me. So I'm gonna just drag this thing right here, and I'm gonna see where things happen. I'm gonna just slide it over until I like where it's Poof, and then I disappear. I think that works pretty great. Watch this. <laughs> Bam, I think that I think that nailed it. So I'm going to trim that guy up. I've got it right where I want it. I'm just gonna trim this guy up to get rid of the rest of it so it's not bleeding onto the next frame. I'm gonna type the letter W, and then I'm gonna drag the same thing right here where I reappear, and let's see how that works. And... <laughs> That's, I don't know, pretty great, right? So that's option A, that would be my favorite. I'm gonna highlight those, type the letter V on my keyboard so they disappear. Here's another one you might like, it's called Explosion. I'm gonna just put this right here and see where it lines up best, boom. Ah, it's pretty good there. Uh, maybe we want it to go a little faster. So when you have an effect that has the ability to be modified, you make sure the effect is highlighted up here, we can speed it up a little bit. So let's just go, oh, let's make it a little faster. And let's see what that looks like. <laughs> that, that looks pretty good, I think. Um, there are other things you can do. There's a bunch of other ones that will totally work here. Try as many as you want. But there's also transitions that work. And one transition I really like is called Warp Something. So I'm going to type in Warp. There it is, Warp Dissolve. Boom. And see if I can find it. Now, I do find that when you type things in the search bar, they don't always give you the same results. Just a little, uh, little thing that... CapCut does, but let's find Warp Dissolve. Here's Warp Dissolve, we're just gonna add it on this transition here, and that's fine. And we're gonna add it on this transition here. Tink. And let's see how that looks. <laughs> okay, I liked that a lot. I would like it if those were longer. So one way to make these a little bit longer, notice how they made them really short right here. The reason those are short is because this is a short clip here. If I drag it up here, you can see how much footage I have. Ring. I, I option drag. So I've got like nothing extra on the beginning of this. So it needs some frames to bite onto. So to fix that, what I can do, I'm going to turn off track magnet and I'm going to get rid of butterfly and I'm going to just slide everything over a little bit. Now this is what I do all the time. So this is, this is kind of important. This is actual editing, kind of the hard part, moving stuff out of the way, putting it back, getting things frame accurate. Track magnets off, so everything stays in place. I moved place. I moved it all together, so nothing gets messed up. And I just need to trim this so that it's, I'm not using just the heads of this. See, there's no heads. I need more for it to bite onto because when you add a transition, what it's effectively doing is is taking some of this and putting it over there, but there's nothing to put over it. And it's taking some of this and bringing it that way. But there's lots of that stuff, so I need more of this to get more of that. I'm just going to go like this and slide it over a little bit. See how it can overlap. It's going to be able to borrow some of those frames. And now I'm going to trim it up here and drag it back in here. Now I could have done that more easily and effectively without dragging and dropping all over the place here. But I wanted you to see the reason that I do it so you understand it. 
And I do want it to be a little bit longer. Let's make sure that this guy has enough frames too at the end. Yeah, he's got plenty of frames. And I do want those a little longer than they were. So I'm gonna do this, boop, and I might have just sound effects a little bit and slide it over so it snaps into place and bring this guy back right here. And actually that one's probably a little too long still. So I'm just gonna drag this guy back a little bit, click on it, drag it back a little bit, bam. And we should have, oh, let's check this one, see if this has enough heads. I'm just going to drag it up here, bam. And I'm gonna drag this way. Yeah, it's got enough heads for that transition to work. Otherwise the transitions, they just, they make them really, really too short. And let's slide all this stuff back into place. And this is just real, I'm showing you real editing. So you see how this actually works. Cause I know when you, when you make a tutorial, you do everything perfect as you practice it and people are like, ah, it's hard. Yeah, it takes some effort. You gotta mess around with this stuff a bit. And I can see that this thing is probably not in the right place. I'm gonna adjust the sound effect here a little bit. And now when I add this transition called Warp Dissolve, it'll give me a little bit more of it. And I can also add a transition here, not only by dragging, but by highlighting that. See how it's like blue and highlighted. I can also go up here into Warp Dissolve and sit plus, and it'll have the Warp Dissolve right there. And notice how this one is so much longer. It's because these had more heads and tails to work with. More tails on that and more heads on that one. Does that make sense? So what I'm gonna do is highlight both of these and make sure I get more heads and tails on this guy. Let me see what, where I was missing. If I go this way, yeah. So I'm just gonna give this guy more heads and less tails. I don't need any of the tails. It's gonna give it a bunch of heads, so I have lots of room. And I can also make it the same duration as this guy. And I know I'm rambling a little long, but I just want you guys to understand this and see how to do it. And I'll lose some people, but those that stick around, you'll be glad you understand this because you'll have the same exact issue and go, I should have watched the whole thing. I'm gonna click on this guy. Now I'm gonna click on Warp Dissolve and hit the plus sign. So, so let's see how that looks. <laughs> That's not bad, which brings me to my final tip. Tip number five, you can combine effects. So we have this transition, we can combine it with the teleportation filter, Butterfly Dream. And then we have something that looks super realistic because it's not only doing the dissolve thing, but it's kind of warping the whole screen and making me evaporate. So let's just drag this guy back over here and do the same thing here. Boom. I think we want about that much. And we can let it fade out on this one. Maybe right about there. And then we're gonna just kind of rough it in. And now I'm gonna play the final masterpiece for you. So let me show you how to clean up noisy audio in CapCut. <laughs> Never get used to that, not teleporting things to mother. To learn everything CapCut can do, you're gonna take my course by clicking on that link right there. There's no risk, if you don't like it for any reason, give you all your money back.